Joe here, founder and CEO of Global Marketing and Media Company, Alternative Media, here at CES Unveiled. I am talking with yet another awesome company at the helm of innovation as well as impact. Welcome Stell Life and please tell me Sid about Stell Life. Yeah. Hey everyone, thanks so much for having us. Uh, I'm Sid Cannon, CEO and co-founder of Stell. Uh, we made it so that patients who don't have Wi-Fi or tech literacy can engage in this new era of care at home uh, by making a simpler, more accessible, more secure standard for Bluetooth and wireless communication. And why is this so important right now? Yeah, well I mean, so it took a pandemic to evolve care to the home finally. Uh, but adjusting aside, as we move and evolve care, I, get, I think the thing that we risk is leaving patients behind, especially yeah. is that those that lack access to infrastructure or tech literacy. Yeah. And so that can't happen, right? And we made a system that has no buttons or switches. You just need electricity yeah. at home. You plug it in, you set it and you forget about it. And yeah. if you use your medical devices, we'll take care of all the complexity in the background and get your data wow. to your doctor. So that is fascinating. Are there certain devices that it will not connect with? Does one have to ensure that he or she has a particular device to mint, you know, make it work? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we have about 160 devices that are currently on our ecosystem using uh -huh. our protocol. And uh, we don't connect to non-medical devices, right? So right. our patent allows us to connect passively to Bluetooth devices, but we really Got focus it. on vitals and healthcare devices. Got it. It almost looks like a modem. Yeah. That's so interesting. Did that like inspire the kind of the way it looks? Like, tell me a bit about the impetus for creating this beyond, of course, the obvious of the need for you know more remote healthcare support. Yeah, absolutely. So I actually used to work at Facebook. Uh, my passion okay. was always. Uh, hardware though, I yeah. uh, was an electrical computer engineer and I took the leap of faith into doing this when I saw doctors at Mount Sinai uh, actively want technology to improve yeah. care at home. Right. Uh, and the, the first product we actually made was a smart toilet, believe it wow. or not. Uh, <laughs> we built it out and then we realized that the hard part, I mean sensors are hard, but the harder problem is getting adoption by clinicians and patients. So we honed into the connectivity part of the smart toilet right. and we made it so other sensor manufacturers down in the future would be right. able to shortcut and bypass all the barriers that we encountered gotcha. when connecting into clinical care. That's fascinating. Well, I've worked with other um, you know, B2B and B2C to B2C type of companies that are in the healthcare space that have had to you know, pull in a certain number of providers and a certain number of patients. Yeah. So like, what is your ideal ratio right now between providers and patients and what are you seeing in terms of um, adoption? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, great question. Actually, perfect segue. We're co-hosting the Digital Health Studio yeah. with Moderna uh, over the next three days where we're bringing the 13 health systems that use our product as well as the device companies, the big tech groups, and the yeah. digital health orgs uh, that believe in this new standard of passive care at home. Uh, the way that we believe is uh, there's a special loyalty between patients and clinicians. As soon as the patient believes their clinician cares about them, right, right. they'll follow through and be compliant and like have success from that. Yeah. The moment you try to fake it with some other fancy interface and like try to right. do behavior change, it's just not authentic enough. Right. So our goal was, can we get this into the clinical workflow in a way that people that are so inundated by everything right. from the pandemic are able to adopt this care, we're able to roll it out and yeah. like sell their patients on it. Uh, and that's what we found uh, has been successful. So it's a very integrative approach versus, you know, kind of in your face, understanding, you know, the everyday patient isn't necessarily going to just like jump in on that because they're not going to fully understand the benefits of it. Totally. Yeah, exactly. It's like the data to a patient is like, okay, cool. I know yeah. my heart rate, yeah. uh, but a doctor is able to modify clinical action from it. Right. right. And so nowadays CIOs are like, I have 150 different companies totally. that are asking me to interface into my platform. Right. right. Yeah. And how do I ensure that they're equitable? How do I ensure that they're secure? How do I ensure that they're actually like reliable and high quality? With yeah. us, they don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, we take care of all the communication, security, the quality, and the device configurations in the background. So care teams just get the data in the records and they can interface and evolve care to them. That's fascinating. So your doctors are your ambassadors. Essentially, yeah. they are your thought leaders. Exactly. Especially Excellent. the health IT people as well. So. Of course. So they yeah. really understand the logistics because doctors are not necessarily tech gurus. So, I, I mean, there's a number of doctors that we've met that it's been, it's been really, really cool to see the early adopters of visionaries yeah. for this. Steve Klasko is actually an advisor of ours. He was the former Jefferson CEO, uh, but he'll be one of the speakers on Moderna staff, and you can hear him talk about like uh, the Borg and Star Trek-esque oh elements. So, uh, wow. you know, there's a number of doctors that are leading the charge, and we just want to show the industry. That's actually why we're here at CES today. Uh, we want to show the industry that 
it's not too early in the, the care of innovation. Like the yeah. pragmatists and the people that were hesitant to adopt this form of care are actively doing it right now. Yeah. They have thousands of patients that they're monitoring right now. Right. And if you want to move care to the home, we find, we right. provide an easy interface for you I'm to do sure that. I'm sure that's a, a fear. It's like, what if we miss out on an important stat or, you know. But of course, the, the patient has to be encouraged to regularly check his or her vitals as well. So the beauty of it is like, the moment you take away the screen, uh, and the moment you take away the, the, oh, I have to, the nag effect of it, right. and it's more of, I have a care team that actually cares about me yeah. in doing this, we find that they are more compliant in that. working in the background, right? Totally, yeah. So. Actually, there's a great story about our, we're, we're based in Philadelphia, and so yeah. health equity is a big focus of ours. There's, it's sad to know that there's certain zip codes if you're born there, you have yeah. a significantly shorter lifespan, right? Uh, and the solution has always been technology for technology's sakes, right. where they'll give fancy iPads and like tablets to these right. patients. And people, and, they'll just sit there. And they don't want it, because it yeah. has high street value. It yeah. brings danger and risk to the patient at home. They don't know right. how or why they should engage in this. And it's like, all right, use this like iPad you know, exactly. to, to solve your care. With us, it's this yeah. little black box. You, like, you like, plug yeah. it in, no button switches, you forget about, forget about it. Yeah. And your doctor and care team will be able to like engage with you and call you awesome. up when, when you are trending out of bounds. To yeah. teach you, like, hey, this is nutritional changes you can make. These right. are some other lifestyle major changes you can make, and we've seen some great compliance results and outcomes. So, a couple other questions for you. Sure. Um, it's all self installation, correct? Yeah. So, there's um, assisted ins installation if you want paramedicine or hospital at home or other programs to do. Yeah. But it's as simple as plugging into electric. Yeah. It looks very straightforward. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. So, how long has the company been in existence? Yeah. So, we started with the smart toilet in late 2016. Um, we pivoted to this in 2018 um, and so with this new version this was around 2020 when we realized that we're not gonna have the buying volumes of an Apple or Google or big tech company to do this so we made an operating system that can go onto like the Google Nest Hub onto the Amazon Echo onto like a Nordic semiconductor cellular hub and so we really leaned onto like software to, to do this. That's amazing. Well, congrats on your success. Thanks. And that's, you know, very, very quick to yeah. grow at the rate that you have. Thank you for talking to me. And I'm asking everyone this question because we support mission-driven companies. So what is your mission statement? Yeah, it's uh, as we move forward, how do we ensure patients aren't left behind? Uh, the digital divide is real. The pandemic has exposed that. And we want to showcase that you know, there is a system today that is equitable, that can treat all patients and you know, improve the standard of care for everyone. Amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Happy CS. Yeah, please.